Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be uh, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and uh, Taurus Rising monthly tarot reading for February 2019. So while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Taurus's star sign and uh, for that reason in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread as well but ultimately at the end uh, you will have to align uh, that reading with your personal situation for maximum accuracy. Now if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot just like I'm doing for the few examples that I'm giving in this video uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So this as well is going to be an enhanced tarot reading which means that we are going to draw additional card per position and that is a, a five card position uh, for the month. So the first card here which is the topic of uh, the month it's the six of pentacles and uh, the accompanied card of the six of pentacles this is going to be the star card. So what this, uh, this combination <clears throat> in generally is uh, is pointing is that the plans are going to develop exactly the way um, the way they are supposed to now what that combination here points is that everything is going according to the current going to uh, according to the flow and unfortunately there is not much that uh, the two choruses can do uh, to change it not that you need to. Now the star card here is promising you, even on the contrary, uh, I will explain what I mean with the contrary. Now the, the star card here promises you a, a positive development of your situations and of your plans. And as it's sitting here as a catalyst to the six of pentacles, it does point as well that it's going to traverse misfortunate situations into fortunate situations. And it's going to make the fortunate situations even more beneficial. So what you need to do throughout this month, I mean, I will I will go through the reading, but only by these couple of cards, guys, Tauruses, I can tell you that you just have to basically go along with, uh, with your things and uh, don't do anything remarkable and anything, anything extraordinary, kind of like anything creative, if you want to say it that way, because whatever you had to do you already done it you set it in motion all right and now you need to give time that motion to uh to unfold additionally to that the star card here is pointing that the current the flow of events it's uh it's leading you to the end of turmoils it it, it kind of leads you to an ending of, of an era which is uh which was kind of very um let's say uh, depressive, it, it was um, destructive as well if you want to say it that way and very insecure so from now on it's kind of like you are going to see that the pieces of the puzzle it's falling in their places and if you have had been baffled by a certain situations or you felt threatened by a certain circumstances uh, things are going to, for you to align in such a way that uh, most likely you are going to see that actually there is a light at the end of the tunnel and things are not as ominous as you thought they are and uh, the circumstances uh, are not as eerie as, uh, as you thought they are. And uh, additionally what I want to say here however with these cards is that it is very important to have your goals set high because the six of uh, Pentacles it preaches hierarchy, but what we do have here or the hierarchy has to be maintained But what we do have here is passive enemies with the star card and what that combination says is that the hierarchy is going to be reshuffled in a way that is going to benefit you so to give you an example of that, if the hierarchy in your family is that your let's say your wife is dictating the rules or 
your husband is dictating the rules there and they are se severely mistreating you by that um, by that tyranny well now the hierarchy is going to be reshuffled and most likely you will take the place to dictate the rules because this is how you set the situation in motion you did something in the past that is going to give you that edge is going to give you that upper hand uh, through which you will now be able to actually exit this era of um, of turmoil and despondency the next card which we do have this is going to be uh, the um, approach toward the situation the intentions that you need to have here and what we do uh, what we do have with these cards we do have another passive enemies here so uh, what this uh, what this combo is selling you is that you need to start reorganizing your environment the way that you are finding it comfortable regarding career or regarding relationship you need to start bit by bit little by little to incorporate the uh, circumstances which you are finding comfortable for yourself this is displayed here by the by the nine of wands and as the nine of wands co counters the high priestess which is the stillness it does point that through the stillness here or through the natural unfoldment of the situation you will have the chance to uh, align the circumstances the way that suits you best on top of that, what these cards are pointing is that you will have the chance to get an upper hand upon rivals and enemies. You are going to be, uh, how can I place it, forewarned that someone, uh, if there is a, such a situation, if someone is, let me put it that way, if someone is trying to do you harm, for example, into your career, someone is trying to place you in a bad, in, in a bad spot in front of your um in front of your boss or someone is trying to sabotage your projects you know you are going to be forewarned about that and you will have all the time in the world here to take the precautionary measures to uh, readapt the situation or to make the necessary conscious changes here so that rival of yours this antagonist this enemy of yours have no chance whatsoever to uh, to alter your outcomes and to uh, basically influence in a negative way um, your project, your relationship, your friendship, you name it. But you have to be vigilant, all right? It's going to be much more easier uh, for you to do nothing and just to go with the flow because either way at the end the flow is going to uh, is going to put you in a, such a spot that you will sit on a already established patterns that is seen over here and with a lot of room to grow but how much more room to grow you are going to have will depend on your performance and it will it is advisable here to take on those um, to take on this opportunity to rearrange your stuff in such a way that is going to uh, open uh, much more doors than this situation here initially have opened for you or will going to open for you so let me give you that uh, so let me put it that way uh, let's say that uh, you can close a deal for a hundred thousand dollars with a an important client of yours all right, and these hundred hundred thousand dollars are uh, guaranteed. But if you do the necessary changes in the contract, for example, or with the or with the presentation that you need to do, and etc. etc., that deal could be closed for three hundred thousand dollars. All right, or for a million dollars. So you do have a um, you don't have a limit. You do just have a, a down uh, kind of like a. Uh, a bottom line but the upper line is not set yet and you will be able to set that upper line by these adaptations that you are going to do even though you may find it much more comfortable to do nothing and just to wait the situation to develop on its own accord now the challenges which are causing predicaments we do have the uh, emperor with the knight of swords and what we do have here it is most likely a, a person who will try to I cannot say constrain you, but they will try to maintain control over your situation one way or another. <clears throat> and now as the flow of events, as we said that the hierarchy here is reshuffling itself, they will start losing grasp 
or grasp upon uh, that specific situation. Example of that, a co-worker that it is involved into this project and uh, they are expecting you know that they are going to be the main the main hero there as the project is consolidated as the project is finalized well as the hierarchy here reshuffles you do the necessary changes their influence upon the project and their participation in general starts to weaken and what happens is that they're going to use any means that they do have, any influence as well that they do have there in order to maintain their grasp, in order to maintain their control upon uh, upon that situation, either career or relationship-wise, that you do have. That could be as well a third party. I mean, if you, for example, suspected or you find out that your partner is cheating on you, you know, that could be the prerequisite here for reshuffling the uh, the hierarchy they have been uh, tyrannical until this very moment but you caught them off guard uh, you caught them with their pants down and now you are the one who get to say uh, to to call the shots and you can rearrange that environment into your relationship the way you want it and here we are seeing the third party the lover the 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 very reason for 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 the affair who is trying to maintain the um the influence upon your wife or upon your husband and etc etc and with the time that will become harder and hard and harder for them but unfortunately they do have some aces in their sleeve so that is important here not to drop off your guard but as I said, you are going to be forewarned here with the rivalry that you may have. Therefore, you will you will kind of like be uh, warned what is going to be their next move. And you, as I said, you will have all the time in the world to take precautionary measures in order to counter this move. But I don't want to sound milder and petite uh, in this situation. Emperor as a predicament is a lot to be overcome. I mean this person already have a lot of influence, this person already uh, have a lot of means or a lot of leverage upon that situation. It's going to be, I cannot say hard, but it's going to be more time consuming. It's going to take time so you cut them completely off um, of that either project of yours or of that either a relationship of yours and this could be as well you know for example a love triangle where you and someone else like the same girl or the same boy all right and uh, they uh, even though you are the one with the preferences here so this girl or a boy likes you more they are more aggressive that the other person here who is trying to win that sweeter uh, is more aggressive and they are as well ready for war and they are doing those surreptitious and those sneaky backstabbing actions um, so to make you look bad and etc etc not that they have a chance you know but it's kind of like they are going to make the work uh, or kind of like the process harder than it needs to be the next card that we do have here, this is going to be the Eight of Wands, which is uh, the guidance the Tarot is offering to you with the Five of Cups. So what the guidance points, uh, it's that you can traverse any misfortune into a fortune. As I told here, well, that is just a, a confirmation. But what these cards are adding to this uh, to these statements here, that any misfortune is going to be traversed into a fortune, is that... Uh, you should not be uh, scared to take on opportunities. And as we do have the Five of Cups here, these opportunities may look like some, some of uh, the previous opportunities you had which you take, which you took, excuse me, and you failed in them, uh, in them. And that exactly could be the very source of the fear you, that you may have. Uh, Following the relationship example, you know, with uh, the um, with the love triangle where you or someone else like this, uh, are liking the same girl, let's say that girl could resemble someone in the past uh, or resemble in a sense that it has the same habits, likes the same thing, and etc. etc. Someone in the past that kind of denied you, all right. And uh, this is exactly that could kind of provoke the fear within you and the 
predisposition of thinking that this girl is going to deny you uh, as well because you have been denied with similar uh, by a similar person back in the past well you need to know that right now you are a, a better being all right and you and time passed you learned your lesson you have now be better experience and it is important here to take on any advantage that you do have eight of uh, wands is about advantages and those advantages are going to fly by and if not unattended and if left unattended are going to just go with the flow and as we said everything goes with the flow here throughout this month so it's up to you uh, Taurus is to take on every opportunity you have these opportunities aren't meant for you they aren't meant for anybody but they belong to the one who takes them so here you go guys take them as as I said you are going to be forewarned you will have the upper hand uh, here um, uh, as these opportunities are going to be uh, displayed to you first and if you don't take them who knows your enemy your rival here may take them and uh, then they will end up upper handed for a short period of time you know but again they will end up upper handed what I'm trying to say here with these cards is that yeah you may suffer back in the past uh, a certain loss, a partial loss here, uh, something that you have recovered but it doesn't mean you know that if you try it again you will not succeed so do not be biased by the failures of your past but be more courageous guys and uh, act upon even a, a small trifle of opportunity that is given to you and at the end here Taurus says we are finding you at the tree of pentacles which is a, a card of a, a huge growth uh, now with the nine of wands that is not an idea uh, the nine of cups excuse me this isn't an, an ideal situation because uh, what these these are a an active enemies and uh, I will try to explain the situation that way so at the end of uh, at the end of the month even though you are finding yourself in a very good spot that you have achieved great things here you have reshuffled as I said the hierarchy into your environment now you are in a much better position the um, the despondency is no longer in present the era of torment and of turmoil is over and etc etc still you may not find yourself satisfied with the results and uh, that will be due to the, the fact that um, there is so much more for you to do. I mean, in order for you to be satisfied of any kind of result, of any kind of results, what these cards are pointing is that you have to place challenges. You basically need to aim higher. You should not be, for example, you should not be working the same thing over and over again but rather you should kind of aim for a, a better position you should aim for a better project you should a, you should aim for a, a bigger client for example or if we're talking about relationship you should aim for a, a more handsome person you should a, you should aim for a more um you know uh for richer uh, person it does depend what your criteria are what these cards are pointing is that you may find yourself not satisfied enough it is because you reach the limits of your criteria here at the end of the month all right and uh, basically now it's time for you to lift the bar to basically place the bar higher you got to expand your criteria and demand more and of course uh, you will have to work more you have to basically overcome those um, those challenges for yourself but ultimately the, this card as a card of growth it does point that you are going to discover new shores for yourself to conquer so that could be a, an opening for a, a new position further into the future that could be a, an opening for engagement as well but it's going to happen somewhere again further into the future it is just you need to lift the bar if until this very moment uh, you would be satisfied just by being with someone you know having someone to date with and to be in a relationship after you accomplish that throughout this month the bar should be left higher like an engagement like living together you know like marriage like kids and etc etc and you have to continue on working for it because if you are single for quite a while now and uh, the only um, and you are saying to yourself for example oh my god I just wish to be with someone I don't wish anything else 
that uh, dream of yours here, there is a, a very big chance to be accomplished, all right? And as it is accomplished, you are quickly going to realize that that is not enough. You need more. Everybody needs more. And therefore, that will provoke you to lift your bar. And even though not satisfied enough right now, you will make solid steps forward to ultimate satisfaction of yourself. So that being said, Tauruses, this was your monthly uh, tarot reading for um, <clears throat> February 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was a general reading for Taurus's star sign. And therefore, it's going to resonate in a different level with every single different one of you. Uh, for that reason, uh, in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But ultimately, at the end, you have to align that, the, these explanations with your situation, just like I did for the examples in this video. Now, if you want me to do that for you, to analyze your situations, so your situations through tarot cards, through the tarot, uh, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.